Uh, how many more months can you leave these restaurants uh, operating at that kind at, at that level? I mean, we know it, we know the numbers just don't add up. I know you can subsidize it from maybe other parts of the business empire, but how long can this go on? Well, I mean, your restaurants are not going to last at, at these kind of numbers, OK? Uh, anybody who has a restaurant in New York that's full service, casual dining at 25 percent is going to go out of business. And uh, I mean, it's really a shame because people have taken years and years and years to, to, to build these restaurants up. I have a huge company. I have restaurants in 40 states. I have casinos that are doing well. But if you're a New York restaurateur, you're in for a long haul right now. And, you know, I say it again, I, I, don't, I don't think the government officials realize it because they get their paycheck every single week. And they don't realize these, these cooks and these waiters and these hostesses and, and then the managers of these restaurants and how difficult it is when you're not getting a paycheck every week and you don't get that $600 kick from the government anymore. So you're, you're going to see unemployment, uh, you know, stay at pre probably where it is until we get through the winter months and we start to improve things, hopefully, or the vaccine comes out. Yeah, we've been talking to restaurant owners, including uh Marcus Samuelson this morning of Red Rooster here in the city, who's saying a lot of the same thing, said, you know, you're going to have two thirds of restaurants at or near bankruptcy, you know, the smaller ones, if there's no uh, relief from Congress. So, you know, there's this restaurant act that the industry is kind of pushing for. They want support, but it's not I, it doesn't appear to be coming together. Uh, maybe another round of PPP could be an option. Uh, do you have a preference about kind of what form that support would take and, you know, your eligibility for it? Well, I mean, my whole problem has been I, I definitely want to take care of the small mom and pop businesses. Uh, and, and I think we should take care of the airlines. But you can't leave people out like me. OK, I'm I'm a 100 percent owned family business. And don't punish me just because I'm big and I and I provide 60,000 jobs out there because I can't make a 60,000 payroll uh, if they shut us down again. And I don't want to have to lay my employees off again. And, and uh, so there's got to be something that treats everybody. You can't just, why should my employee or an employee of any business, because forget about the ownership, okay, but why should an employee, because you work for a billionaire and you don't, okay, or, or the person that isn't the front person of the company, I know people that are, have billionaires that really own the restaurants and the chef-driven restaurant only owns a small percentage, but they were all able to take PPP money because they're not in the forefront like I am. I just want to see everybody treated the same. The government definitely needs to come in and help everyone, but it should be for all employees of all businesses, especially restaurants and retail, and don't look at ownership. Yeah. Make the money go to the employees. Don't worry about me. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.